Ever pondered the engineering behind high-speed railway bridges? These structures, key to swift and eco-friendly transportation, are underpinned by the science of dynamic analysis. This practice manages train loads, vibrations, and the complex interaction between bridge and train. As a result, understanding how a high-speed railway bridge withstands fast-moving trains is time-consuming for design engineers due to extensive simulation and calculation. For high-speed railway bridges, simply supported pre-stressed concrete box girders are the preferred choice. They boast structural efficiency and are adept at managing the dynamic forces and vibrations from high-speed train traffic. The box girder design provides exceptional torsional stiffness and strength, vital for maintaining bridge stability at high velocities. Let's delve into dynamic analysis for simple span beams. When a train, viewed as a system of moving loads crosses a bridge, it induces oscillations along the bridge's length. This dynamic interaction brings two critical design considerations to the forefront. The vertical displacement and acceleration of the bridge due to the moving load. For simple span bridges, peak displacement and acceleration typically occur at mid-span. Our video demonstrates these effects as a train travels at 100 km per h across the bridge. The dynamic response of a bridge varies with train velocity. By charting the peak displacement and acceleration for varying speeds, this curve illustrates a bridge's maximum vertical movement and acceleration in response to a specific train model. The video showcases the construction of these envelope curves for the Antuing Bridge under the HSLM A8 train model. We observe that the bridge's greatest displacement and acceleration occur when the train reaches approximately 302 km per h. Now imagine if we have to comply with Eurocode standards, which require the calculation of envelope curves for 10 different train models. To thoroughly evaluate the bridge's behavior under speeds ranging from 100 to 400 km per hour, we need to run numerous simulations. For each train model we run 151 simulations, totaling to 1510 simulations for the 10 different train models, as per the Eurocode standards. Now here's the breakthrough. Our research team has developed a new dynamic analysis model that significantly speeds up the process. Let's put it in perspective. Normally, using ANSYS software for detailed simulations like those done by Karine Melier, it takes about 22 minutes to analyze 10 trains at different speeds. But then, our team introduced the KD Railway software. Combined with CAS 3M and fast calculations all at once, we brought that time down to just 20 seconds. And now we've made an even bigger breakthrough with our new surrogate model. This model is super fast, cutting the analysis time to about 0.1 seconds. That's not just quick, it's almost instant, marking a massive step forward in how we analyze bridges. How did we achieve this? We started by creating a massive database to understand the dynamic behavior of 10000 bridges. Yes, this wasn't just a few bridges. We're talking about 10,000 of them. Each bridge was randomly designed following Eurocode standards and then analyzed dynamically. We looked at how they would react to 10 different HSLMA train models, moving at speeds between 100 and 400 km per h, using our KD Railway software. This whole process took us about 4 days of calculation time. In the end, we gathered over 6 million data points. We then developed the surrogate model using cutting-edge techniques like semantic search and numerical decoding. The model's precision was verified by comparing its results with those obtained from finite element method. The Antoing bridge featured in this video demonstrates the model's reliability, and importantly, this bridge's specifics were not used in the model's training, ensuring a true test of its predictive capabilities. We didn't stop there. The model was incorporated into a generative design process, leveraging the non-dominated sorting genetic algorithm for optimization. This initiative is driven by the aim to adhere to the Eurocode's vertical acceleration criterion, capped at 3.5 MS2 for passenger comfort and reduced impact on railway infrastructure. The optimization strives to maintain vertical acceleration below this threshold while also decreasing the bridge's mass, making a balance between economic efficiency and practicality. The results? We obtained 25 feasible solutions from an extensive 1000 iteration optimization.